Spectre Console allows you to turn your C Sharp console apps into visually appealing, informative applications. In this series of videos, we are learning how to take full advantage of this library in 10 minute chunks. The source code is available as a link in the description. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to show one or more progress bars that update as things change in our application. If you like this series, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and visit imtimcorey.com for more training resources. Let's get started. So we're going to start with a very simple uh, progress set of progress bars. So ANSI console dot progress. And then we're going to say dot start. And this is very similar to other things we've done. Um, we're going to say context, and then we're going to create the context in which this will live. And at the end of it, we'll put our semicolon. So we're going to define some, some tasks that need to be accomplished. So we're going to say, let's just call them uh, task one, two, and three. So var task one is going to be context dot add task and say downloading data. Now we're only touching the surface of what this can do just because there's, there's so much here. Um, but I wanted to at least show you how to get started in this particular area. So we've got downloading data, we've got installing application, and finally um, we can say data cleanup, which is pretty similar to what uh, Visual Studio does when it's installing new updates to Visual Studio. So now what we're going to do is have a while loop and say while not uh, context is finished. Or we can also say equals false. Um, I kind of prefer to have the equals false because it's easier to spot versus just the exclamation point. So what we'll do here is say thread dot sleep. And we're going to sleep for only 500 milliseconds. We want to keep this moving right along, but I do want to show these tasks updating at different speeds. So task one dot increment, and we'll increment it by a random dot shared dot next double. And we'll multiply that by, let's say 25. And then we'll do the same thing again, but this time for task two, and we'll multiply this one by, uh, let's go with 18. And then what I'm gonna do is, I don't wanna update the third one. So the theory is we start downloading the data and then we start installing the application while the data is still downloading, but we can't really clean up things until after you've done most of the work. So therefore, for this last one, I'm gonna say if task two dot percentage is greater than 80. So we have greater than 80%, then we can say, let's just grab this one right here and say task three, don't forget to change that, and we'll make it uh, 20. So what it's gonna do is simulate work being done and we have three different tasks we wanna accomplish. We're gonna sleep and we're gonna update randomly the percentages for each of these tasks, but the third one doesn't get updated until we're almost done with task two. So that's our progress bar. Again, this is synchronous. We'll look at asynchronous in a minute, but if we bring our console over and we run this, then what we'll see is progress bars. Notice the, the progress bar here, also percentage at the end, it turns green when it's done and turns like dims out a little bit, and now data cleanup is running. So this is our progress. Notice we have our cursor back at the bottom now. Now we've done all three tasks. There's lots more we can do, like uh, stacking one task after the next, like saying, hey, don't start until the previous ones is, is done, um, and so on. But this is how you would show off a progress, one or more progress bars to the user saying, hey, this is what's happening. Now, there's more we can do here. So for example, we can say, hey, you know what? I wanna make this asynchronous. Just like before, we would say start async and then async context, and we have to await this. And for this one, and we're gonna keep this really simple. I'm not gonna call um, anything. I'm just gonna say await 
task.delay500. Very similar to thread.sleep, um, except the fact that it's a waitable delay so we can return um, control to the to the UI if we need to. But that's it. So now that is asynchronous. It's going to work the same way. In fact, we can just real quick start the running. Um, and sure enough, it, it works the same way. So um, I'll actually stop that. Okay, now the one of the things we saw was that it leaves the, the three items on the list and says 100% for all three of them and just leaves them there after it's done. We could change that by saying after progress, we could say auto clear and say true. By default, auto clear is false. So that way we can um, have that clear out when we are no longer you know, seeing or no longer need to see these percentages. So once this is done, it will clear out all three. So you gotta, you know, watch it fast because boop, it's gone. So that's another option you can do with um, the progress bars. Like I said, there's lots more that you can do with progress bars with, you know, changing all the different colors and the layout of the progress bar using different um, types of bars. There's um, more documentation on their site. I can't go into that in 10 minutes or less, but I did want to get you started with progress bars, uh, whether it be progress or progress asynchronously, either start or start async, um, to get you started going with these progress bars in your application. All right. Thanks for watching. And as always, I am Tim Corey.